There's an atmosphere which I don't have a doubt with. I just want to ask everybody to stand on their feet. Everybody stand on your feet as we get into the reading the word. Verse 9. Second Kings chapter 2. Verse 9. It says, when, when they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, Ask what I shall do for you before I'm taken from you. And Elisha said, Please let there be a double portion of your spirit on me. And he said, You have asked a hard thing. Yet if you see me as I am being taken from you, it shall be so for you. But if you do not see me, it shall not be so. And as they still went on and talked, the whole chariots of fire and horses of fire separated them, separated the two of them. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. And Elisha saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariots of Israel and its horsemen. And he saw him no more. Then he took hold of his own clothes and tore them in two pieces. And he took up the cloak of Elijah that had fallen from him and went back and stood on the bank of Jordan. Then he took the cloak of Elijah that had fallen from him and struck the water saying where is the lord somebody say where is the lord, where is the lord? you can say it better than that say it again where is the lord, is the, lord? the god of elijah and when he had struck the water the water was parted to the one side and to the other and elisha went over hallelujah Amen. may god bless the reading of his word may we take our seats hallelujah Amen. talk to your neighbor and say where is the lord, where is the, lord? the god of elijah, the lord of elijah. look at another neighbor and say where is the lord, where is the lord? I know sometimes you may be sitting next to somebody who thinks they are too smart. Hey, remember you are in church. They won't fight back. Just push them and say, where is the Lord? This is the only time that you can really annoy them and they can do nothing. Push them again and say, where is the Lord? The God of Elijah. Come on, find somebody in front of you and say, hey, where is the Lord? Come on, don't be afraid of them. Come on, shake them one more time and say, Where is the Lord? Where is the Lord? The God of Elijah. The God of Elijah. Now you are almost talking like preachers. I want you to raise your voice a little bit and try to be like evangelist Paul Sanguema and say, Where is the Lord? Where is the Lord? The God of Elijah. The God of Elijah. Come on, shake somebody and say, Where is the Lord? The God of Elijah. God of Elijah. <laughs> is it a bad thing to ask? Where is the Lord? More political. The God of Elijah. More particular Elijah. Can you help me? Where is the Lord? How do you say it? Where is the Lord? Look at your neighbor and say, Mbisa, Mbutiko. Mbutiko. Where is the Lord? That's my message tonight. Somebody shout one more time. Where is the Lord? Mbutiko. Can we continue to pray day after day? Night after night. To a God who doesn't show up. Where is the Lord? 
tonight I did not come for anything. I came to see this God of Elijah. I don't know about you. But as for me, I came to see the God of Elijah. Somebody come to see what so and so is wearing tonight. Somebody come to see what is going to be happening tonight. Somebody come to see is she going to come tonight? But as for me, I came to see the God of Elijah. Is there anybody here? Who also came to see the God of Elijah? If you are here, shout, I want to see the God of Elijah. Scripture that we have just read. It's a story of certain guys. The Bible says there was a man called Elijah. And Elijah had a son. But this son was not a biological son. But a spiritual son. The Bible says. Elijah, Elijah was about to be taken by God. Before I talk about that, I have a question. Whose son are you? Oh my God. Whose son are you? Look at your neighbor and say, Whose son are you? Ah, come on, man, don't be afraid of them. Ask them, Whose son are you? You know. The church has forgotten. All the church now knows is how to pray for people. Before you pray for people, I have a question for you. Whose son are you? Hallelujah. Whose son are you? says Elijah little pipe Elijah was walking with Elisha why hamba no Elisha now one thing that fascinates me is this Elisha in his lifetime he did double what his father did but that never made him a father can I talk a little bit about that raising the dead does not make you a father now they're quiet let me come back one more time Raising the dead does not make you a father. I went to the Opening blind eyes does not make you a father. I went to the kingdom of God is a family. Whatever you do, you have to belong somewhere. There's an era in our era. They are television Christians. I've heard several times people who say, you know, my father is uh uh oda uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I want you to listen to this. Paul says, you may have a lot of tutors. You may learn from that. You may learn from this one. You may learn from that one. But every individual must have a father. You don't have fathers. You must have a father. Whether you are rich, whether you are big, whether you are anointed, you must have a father. 
Now they are quiet. Let me go away. It's elevated a little bit. You must. It's not your friend who says, Ah, you are powerful, and then you become powerful. No. There has to be a father. Look at your neighbor and say, Who is your father? That's why you hear in these days people who say, I I I go to this church and that church and that church. Triple membership. If they are not so happy here, they go here. For those three weeks, it's okay. When it becomes when 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 it begins to heat up, they change their membership cards. We are changing membership. We are go here. Hallelujah. So they they belong. That's why when there's a funeral, there are always fights. But allow me to say this, brothers and sisters. Wherever you are coming from, you must become a son in the house. Let me repeat myself. Though the men might be short, but if that's where you belong, you must become a son. Actually, this is what it's supposed to be. You are a son before you are a pastor. You are a son before you are an evangelist. Actually, when we are gathering like this, titles dissolve. Titles, names, they dissolve. And it becomes a house where there is a father and children. In church, there are no, there are no, there are no professors. In church, there are no doctors. Oh, let, let me let me bring it to the ground. If you go back to the rural area where your biological father is, and you pack your very big car next to your father's heart, and you walk out with your Bronx or whatever, I don't know, whatever shoe that you may have. The minute you get into that heart, you are no longer a doctor. Now you are not listening to me. Now, when you are outside his yard, you may be a doctor. When you are outside his yard, you may be a professor. When you are outside his yard, you may be a manager. When you are outside his yard, you may be Mrs. Africa. But the minute you get Get into this heart. You become a son. Why am I always in this mood? This is not what I want to. This is not what I want to talk about. But let me talk about it a little bit. Wherever you are coming from, learn to support that house. What is the point of staying where you don't support? This is one thing that confuses me in life. This is one thing that confuses me in life. 
We you are coming from no bangabu kamga gepi that's where your money should build google apo konuso kwakiwa khona you know our people have a problem they are good at commenting things across the road baku ba right again batandu kuchike they are like little children standing on the fence banje kabantu ana bamocingwe admiring the father next door they are like a woman on the sink or on the tap admiring the father next door ah, look at how he washes his car that's a man but no where you are coming from ukamga Actually let me touch it a little bit. The word son ikameliti unyana comes from a word ben. Lisuke kamelik tu ben. Ben means the father the builder of the father's house. Ubenge utatisa ukuthi umuntu obhi owakhe umuzikadada. Now this is something that I have a heart for. Into ke lena ngenhliziyo yakho. That's why I can look you in the eye and tell you because it is true. Ile ente ngakwazi ukumela ngicelele ngayo. Where you are a son. Lapho ngunyana khona. Your role is to build your father's house. Into kumele uyenze ukwakha indlukadada yakho lapho. Let me repeat myself. Ithi ngiyenze ngiphinde because there's a challenge in the body of Christ. Of people who come with trials. Wabanda bakhamka nezingane to build their houses within houses. Befuna ukwakha izindlu zabo ezindlwini. The sun is a bell. Usunyana ngilo owakha indlu. The bell is a builder of his father's house. Benike ilono wakha indlu kadada. So if I come to your father's house. Sun fika ndingadada yakho. And find it in ruins. Sithola izinto zona. I don't blame you. Father, I can play with that because you are the builder of the father's house. Let me come again. You are the builder. You are the builder of your father's house. Just look at your neighbor and say how much are you building your father's house? Chongo mezu uti uyayakha na indlu kadada akho yakhanga kana. Just for a moment I don't want you to tell anyone. Just think of your biological father's house and your spiritual father's house. I'll sing ngo tata wakho wasendlini ucinge ngo tata wakho wonke umoya nguko. Big man with a big stomach like this. Singaloba bone one one enteshe nguko. Yes, a mother who sleeps without a blanket. Uno mama ulale ngenazi ngubo zokulala. Shame on you. Onke siyam shame kuwena. A grown woman like you with a mother who pours sugar on the next door. What kind of a builder are you? Can you give me your eyes for a while? What kind of a builder are you? What are your hands? Building. All those houses that you see, they were built by sons in those houses. Bottle stores are built by drunkards. Hallelujah. <laughs> Churches are built by sons. I want you to say these words after me. I am a builder. No, 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 no. Push your neighbor and say, hey, come and wake up a little bit. Open your mouth and say, I am a builder. That's not what I want to hear from you. I want us to crack this house into pieces. Open your mouth and say, I am a builder. I am a builder. Of my father's house. Have you ever surprised your father? Have you ever surprised your father? 
Okay, if you are to vanish, what will your father miss? If he is to pray for you, what is he praying for? I know people don't want to hear this, but I, I, do you know that in church there are some people who are there are people who are busy building with you and there are some that you are always pursuing where you are supposed to be building you are always running looking for them it's like trying to cook when you have a two year old in the house you are trying to manage the pot and she's trying to jump down the stairs who are you in your father's house we are living in a day where everybody wants to be demo you know it's, 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 it's always democracy democracy, democracy. if he speaks we have to put our word on it. So it becomes a boardroom. And then go Gabella and go in the home of your talk. That's why you're finding nowadays in churches people are now voting. No, but at least let, let, let us vote. You know, at least we are people, we have to vote for these things. But How dare you raise your hand in the house where there is a father? to vote in or out now these are things that people don't want to hear and the minute you talk about this thing somebody says ah you know what they, they, they now want power they now want power. Now you are looking at a man who knows how to handle that power. Where you are, you have got to know that there is a vision. You don't bring your vision in another vision. You come to fit into that vision. If you don't fit in, you can you can godly go your way with the grace of the house but as long as you belong as long as you have to fit in no matter who you are in the community <laughs> Another thing that I have to stress again is this. This is the opportunity that I have to speak to the body of Christ. There's an error. I always see this. I always see people trying to bless people who are who are authorities in their communities. Go and check it in the word of God. There is protocol. You don't raise your small hand to bless. Oil comes from the head. head. Shoulders going down. That's why wherever you are, if somebody has been placed in an office higher than you, though you are older than them, it means spiritually you have got to hear what they are saying. I know I have I have affected somebody tonight. And I'm glad because that's why tonight I put on my necktie. That's why I put on my shirt to come and annoy somebody. You have got to learn to submit yourself to your leaders. Uh, 
just for a moment, I want you to look at your neighbor. Don't, don't say anything. Just, just look at them. Just look at them. Look at how scary they are now. Do I have people who say, Pastor, after this conference, I'm going to build my father's house? You know, here, here, this is not what we do. Because we, we, you know, we must do it that way. Okay, it takes money. Bring that money. Do it. And but that church is clean. Yeah, because somebody swept. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I felt the Holy Spirit moving. <laughs> no one was saying amen, but I felt him moving. Put your hand on your head and say, I'm a son. Yeah. This week, nothing can stop you to rush and buy your pastor. If Pastor Mgwagwa is your pastor, nothing can, not your pastor. Your father. You know, our, our pastor, the way he dresses, I don't like it. He, he must dress like other pastors. <laughs> Now Elijah was about to go. Go to Elijah. Was the Bible says. Elijah. Elijah. Speak something. What he did. And began to follow Elijah. Elijah. Elijah said to Elijah. Oh, to Elijah. Go Elijah. You must stop here. And go back. And to say. But Elijah said. Go to Elijah. Would he? As long. As long. As long. As, long, as, long, as the Lord lives. I will not leave you. And he followed him. It happened for the second time. And the third time. And Elijah said to Elisha. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Elisha said. to Elijah. I want a double portion of your anointing. Somebody say a double. He said, whatever you are doing, I want two times that. One day I said to Pastor Russell, I'm praying for my daughter Atalia. All I want God to do for her, I want God to do for her 10 times better than you. He said, Ah, Pastor, what I am food is. No, 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 no. What I am food is. I don't have a problem with you. May God give you whatever you want. If you want billions, I don't have a problem with you. But whatever you want, I just want ten times. I said, no, 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 no. I said, where is my problem here? I'm not blocking your blessings. I said, get whatever you want. That's what Elisha said. He said, say, do whatever you want. May God use you a trillion times. A billion times. But what I want is a double of that. Somebody shout double. Somebody shout double. Double. He said, Men of God, I don't have a problem. Raise the dead. But I want. Elijah said to him, He said, You have asked. 
Ele a difficult thing. That's, that's the problem that I have with the church. When was the last time you asked for a difficult thing? Can I, can I come again? I want to ask everybody from this side to that end. When did you ever ask a difficult thing? Okay, have you ever asked a difficult thing from the Lord? Because all you are asking, you are asking him for shoes. You are asking him for a car. You are asking him for for what? When 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 did you ever ask for a difficult thing? Don't you think whatever you are asking is so simple? I strongly believe that whenever God looks at some of our prayers, He wonders if we have sense. He says, I'm the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? And yet, every day you're crying for another pair of tennis shoes. Tomorrow you're crying for a jacket. When did you ever ask for a difficult thing? When was the last time you asked for something that you were also surprised? You are always doing what is ordinary. The problem with Christians is they are all the same. Look at everyone here. They are all the same. Look at all our churches. They are all the same. women they are all the same our 16 year old girls our 30 year old mamas and our 82 year old mamas all the same Look at your mother. Look at your sister. Look at yourself. All the same. Look at our men. No, 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 take a moment. Look at our men. They are all the same. All of them, every month end, they are struggling to pay rent. All of them, their cars, they struggle to close their doors. Look at our women. All of their wives, oh, ah, they, they are borrowed one from the other. When are you removing yours? So that I can give you mine. Let's remove on the same day. They are all the same. Look at how they walk. They are all the same. Where have different girls gone to? My God. When you read the Bible, talking about David, talking about Joseph, those guys were different. When the Bible talks about the CV of Job, and the Bible says he was the greatest in the whole of the East. And when you are East, where is a man who is different in the whole of Cape Town? This thing is boring to me. Every no, 
I'm a pastor. King Kumfundi. I visit people. One thing that bores me. It affects me. People are all the same. When you get in this house. And then you get into that one. You cannot tell where you are now. Because all the houses are the same. They cook for you. They cook for you. If you eat this meal and that meal, if I can ask one man to stand at the back, one here and another one there, you will see what I'm talking about. You will see what I'm talking about. We must have men who are daring to be different. They all buy things in the same shops. They are all in the same areas. They are tied with the same rope. They all go as far as everyone else. Their budgets are the same. Their salaries are the same. Their wardrobes are the same. That's why if somebody tries to go out, they pull them back because they cannot join them. They say, let's rather stay together here. Conference after conference. They jump. After the service, ah, my bongwe, my bongwe, my bongwe, my bongwe, ah, my bongwe, my bongwe, my bongwe, my bongwe, my bongwe, hallelujah, pa, pa, my bongwe, pa, uka gole moto, pa. We need people who are daring to be different. After fire conference, somebody must go home. Listen, I'm not talking with emotions here. This is the real me talking. After this conference, someone must go back home. Take his sofa. Take light. And paraffin. No paraffin. And enough is enough after this conference someone must go home and put a speaker on his car for sale after this conference After this conference, someone must go into the better shops in town and say, how much is this? How much is that? How much is that? Can I get a test drive? Somebody shout, I am different. I am different. Sit down if you are like that. I said, somebody shout, I am different. I am different. After tonight, go in the on the internet. You know they don't you don't pay anything to check on better cars in town. After tonight, go and look for something better. Look at your neighbor and say something better. Give them a high five and say something better. Hold on for a while. 
after tonight yes. I want you to spread this word in Cape Town I don't drive cheap cars I want you to carry this word I know there are people who want stories to go with let me give you a headline I don't drive cheap cars I don't don't drive cheap cars. I get driving motor cheap. I don't stay in a cheap house. I'm challenging a cheap. I'm giving you a headline tonight. I don't eat cheap stuff. I get I get to be just cheap in my house. It's better to have one fork. It's better to have one spoon. It's better to have one mat than to have ten ordinary mats. You are looking at an extraordinary pastor. Out of this world, pastor. I don't compromise on standard because I'm from above. I don't know about you. I don't go cheap. I mean, I can't go cheap. I'm a five star person. Come on, look at me for a while. Let the devil know. Enough is enough. Today, go back home and say, Devil, it is Satan. Enough is enough. Zimwe zipoto nga zinopiswa umani The devil is a liar O satan uliko Do I have five star people here? I said, do I have five star people here? If you are a five star person, I want you to shout, I am a five star person. I am from a past. Jesus. Hallelujah, Mazalwani. Hallelujah, Basal. Hallelujah, Basalwani. Hallelujah, brethren. I am a suffering pastor. <laughs> ah, I have forsaken everything. <laughs> we have forgotten about this world. Our eyes are fixed in heaven. And then people feel like, yeah. Yeah, about but uh, wait. That's a godly <laughs> man of God. That's a god. That's a man of God. How devilish are you? <laughs> From today, I want you to value yourself. I don't know how to say this better. Uh, I'm saying it already. Some of those jerseys in your wardrobe, they are your, they are your demons. You're wondering. You're wondering why am I not getting married? It's because of your funny dresses. After speaking in tongues, go and put your house in order. Look at your neighbor and say, Go put your house in order. My God. You know, you must be an expensive girl. You must be an expensive young man. People must think twice before they approach you. People must think twice before they visit you. Let me talk to those at the back. Be a better believer. Be a better sister in Christ. Wow. 
One day Jesus spoke. He said, Blessed is he who is not offended in me. Tonight, let me say as well. Blessed is he who is not offended in me. I cannot preach the gospel of Christ and have my children eating what do you call it uh, chicken crumbs what, uh, those chunks but the chicken tart every time you are going into the shops you are just looking for something cheap that's your target oh I am a son of Abraham I am a king I am a prince John Wesley said we must preach the gospel and where necessary where necessary we must use words meaning to say the gospel is not always preached with words I believe 80% of the gospel is preached with your actions the way you walk you are preaching a confused Christ the way you talk you are talking and preaching talking and preaching a confused Christ what gospel are you preaching with your family when you pass by what have you spoken our challenges our believers have become too heavenly minded that they have become earthly useless you are still here brother It's all it's not done all in one night but you must make up your mind you must draw a line on your on your, on your gate and say nothing ungodly nothing ungodly will pass this before anything passes this gate before you take it up i will test it by fire because i test it Somebody say something difficult. Imagine how boring is it? Are we if my daughter comes to me crying saying daddy I need bread daddy I need bread and then I say okay daughter there is a piece of bread daddy daddy tomorrow make sure you give me bread that's what many believers are doing to God asking for ordinary things you are belittling God to your size you think God is troubled when you pray for that small thing Elijah said I need a double portion Elijah said what you have asked is difficult how blessed are they that are married to women who ask difficult things as a woman you must be a difficult woman as a man, you must be a difficult husband. You have asked a difficult thing. God must be able to look at you and say, My daughter, what you have asked is too much.
Your vision is ordinary. Imbono wako ukele gilu fana ne mini mbono ya bobonga bantu. Your destination is ordinary. Ita wako fulu kuya kuyi fana ne njenge ya banye bobonga bantu abakone mtabini. Today, I want you to go home and reshuffle your vision. Namchange, kifunu fige, umbono wako, upindu uchongi sisi. It's too small. Ningu umbono nao. What you are asking for is too small. Into it elatito ingu. Your dreams are too small. Upupa ama upupa ama ingu. I'm, I'm not saying this to make you laugh. But I'm serious. Where you are, let me first of all explain it. The Bible says, if a man knows Christ, if he backslides, the Bible calls it crucifying Christ again. The Bible says, lack of faith is sin. Meaning to say, most of the lives that we are living, we are cursing the heavens. The Bible says, the angels in heaven, when they look down on earth, they worship God because of what they see on earth. From today, I challenge you, go and change the way you dream. A lot of people, when, when a lot of people fail in life, they act as if they don't want to be successful. You know you want to be successful. God dream better. Hamba, shinchin zelo pupangai, pupengas, ngon. Go and change your prayer requests. Hamba, shinchin zelo tanda zangai. Go back on the drawing board. Iya, go drawing board yako. Dream like a baby. Pupenge gumtana. Plan like a baby. Tana jengo mtoana. Wani sana jengo mtoana. Elijah said, young man, Elijah, daughter, if you see me go, you will have what you want. That's another problem with Christians. Microwave Christians. God, if you don't do it today, I'm going back to the world. And God will be saying, Go back to the world when you think twice, you'll find me here. Elijah said to Elijah, If you see me going, If you are going to get what you want, you must be ready to wait for the years it takes. Some of these things will take six years. Some will take nine years. But if you are serious, if you see me going, A lot of people wait for two months. Some wait for six months. That's why statements like God's answer is always late. Look at your neighbor and say, if you see me going, you going. Then Elijah was taken. 
then watatu kuleje and then he dropped his jacket wawisa i jacket yake but as they were going together Elijah had parted the waters with his jacket when Elisha was now left alone the bible says when Elisha was now going back without his master the sons of the prophets began to laugh at Elisha because his master had gone if you are going to get what you want you must be ready to have people who laugh at you but if they laugh at you and then you get disappointed that you abort your pregnancy it means you are not ready for your miracle they laughed at Elisha but Elisha said I will not listen to what you are saying I will not be discouraged look at your neighbor and say I will not be discouraged Jesus If you don't want people to talk about you die ifa <laughs> talk to me what kind of a normal person has not, no one talking about him okay when was the last time that people spoke about you okay kwa kuni lapha abantu bebehlebe ngawe people must talk about you abantu kumele bahlebile ngawe but you must keep on moving they must talk about you you must keep on moving actually the more they talk the more you must have a burden to move on the more they talk the more you must push on the more they talk ask women who have given birth they will tell you it is not good to be pregnant and not have pains the more the pains the more the baby is coming out the more the pains the more the baby is coming out somebody shall push push when people begin to laugh at you push when people begin to talk about you push when you are in the labor world you need somebody who knows how to encourage you to push I came tonight to let you know you have got to use everything in within you but pastor I don't have money I don't have everybody is now to push at the back push that push 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 young lady push push push, 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 push. don't let it affect you okay and you take pause me push when you feel like you want to give up get in your house close the door and begin to pray riba shama ndara bakaya libero tolo bo shama bendele lebo bo sikata when you feel like i can't take it anymore you say today i don't want breakfast today i don't want lunch i'm pushing i'm pushing somebody say i'm pushing i'm pushing do i have people in a labor ward push 
Kosha. Push. Kosha. Push. Kosha. Can I talk to pastors? Pastors. Pastors. Push. Kosha. When you wake up and it looks impossible. Let the devil know. Money or no money. I will not stop pushing. Let the devil know. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. But allow me to prophesy in here. Support or no support. Young girl who push. Don't listen to the devil. Tell him, devil, I will not give up. This baby is coming out. I'm pushing. I'm pushing. I fight your neighbor and say, neighbor, push, 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 push. Hallelujah! Jesus, Jesus, Jesus! Oh, my God! If you fail to get it this month, next month, let them find you pushing. Jesus. Cancer or no cancer? cancer no Push. Push. HIV or no HIV? No be cholo one no bayiko. Push. 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 Ulcers or no ulcers? No be cholo ma ulcers no way. Push. Degree or no degree? No be let degree no bayuna. Push. Push. Financial support or no financial support? I feel like somebody is pushing tonight. I feel like somebody is pushing tonight. But devil must know that you had given up. But you are back. You are back. And you will push this time. Devil, I want my baby. And I want it now. I will push. I will push. I will push. I will push. Push. Jesus. Push. Oh yes. I will push. Push. As long as God is on my side. I'm gonna push. He's a push. Young lady, I know somebody might not be serious. But I'm just looking for 12 serious people. I came to push with you. I came to join your hand. I came to encourage you. Join my hand. Let us push together. People are now talking about you. But join my hands. Take my hand. That is such a summon. Push. 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 Your sister died. Jesus. Your father died. But you've got to push. You must push. You must push. It will happen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I don't care. How many years without a child? I will push. I don't care. How many years struggling? I will push. Somebody stand on your feet. And say, I will push. I will push. I will push. God, I will push. God, I will push. I will push. I will push. I will push. I will push.
I want you to phone the doctor. And say, doctor, thank God for you. You did your job. You told me I'm left with one year to live. But doctor, I will push. I will push. On your doctor. And say, doctor, thank God for your education. You said I will never fertilize. But daughter, I will push. The Bible says, Abraham staggered not. He did not stagger. He did not stagger. The devil spoke to him and said, Abraham, you will not have a child. But Abraham staggered not. He said, devil, what is Satan? Do what you want. Push is a push. Abraham, what Abraham? I got not. No, my God, I'm saying I don't believe. Is a God. The Bible says, if I believe, he believed. What God? That he who had promised was faithful. Why a tempegin? He was faithful. Why a tempegin? Look at your neighbor and say, don't give up. What you must do, get it. Tell three people around you. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Keep down. Oh Jesus. Don't give up. I want you to get ready to push. Get ready to push. I want you to get ready to push. My children are all going amok. But I'm ready to push. Today I'll pray. I'm changing this. I'm changing that. They say I will not get married. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. They say I will die here. The devil is a liar. I will push. Somebody shall push. Shall push. Shout it will happen. It will happen. You are not shouting. It will happen. It will happen. Young lady. Oh, she's a young lady. It will happen. It will happen. Wow. Happen. I'll build that house. I will build that house. There's somebody here. You are about to sell your stand. You are about to sell your stand. Don't sell it. You will build. I said you will build. You will build. Tell the devil. Devil. I will build it. I will build it. Myself and God will build it. We will build it. Begin to open your eyes. You will build Somebody was about to close his company. I come to encourage you. Don't close your company. You will make it. You will make it. In the name do I have somebody who says pastor I'm going back to build I'm going back to build I'm going back to build AIDS will not intimidate me HIV will not intimidate me Cancer will not intimidate me It will not intimidate me I'll build I'll build When I came to Cape Town, I was called by certain men. They called me in a meeting. They said, young men, you are ambitious. You are ambitious. But 
but we have one word for you. But it's not now. A man like you in this country is not successful. I pumeleli. They said, if you want to be successful, join us. They said, you don't have a home. We are giving you a fully finished home. With our support, you will make it. I said, says, Get my daughter. The Lord sent me here. And he said, And what I will be successful. In your family, no one has ever done it. That's why it's like that. So that you can be the first. When Elisha was now going back, and people were laughing at him, when he came to Jordan, now the man of God is no longer there. Elisha did not begin to cry. Elisha did not give up. Imagine the Jordan is in front and the sons of the prophets are laughing. We told you you will not make it. Somebody here the sons of the prophets are laughing at you. Jordan is in front of you. Jordan is in front of you. And they are saying we told you we told you you cannot make it. People are talking about you. People are now calling you names. People are now talking about you. People are now laughing at you. Your family is now calling you names. Your family is now rebuking you. Elisha said, I will not be intimidated. Elisha said, If Elijah, if Elijah could do it, I can do it. The Bible says. Let it pipe. The Bible says. Let it pipe. He took the jacket. What at the jacket? Yeah. He was given by Elijah. Why me get some Elijah? The Bible says. Let it pipe. He said. What? Holding the jacket. I came here tonight. Get better the jacket. I know somebody. He has to go to them. Might have come. On Kesanga Park to see what's happening. Somebody go to wait a gala. That's another issue. But the level of where I know somebody. He has to go to them. Might have. Come because his girlfriend is here. As That's another issue. But let me talk to somebody who has got Jordan. Let me talk to somebody who has got the sons of the prophets laughing at him. Elisha said, Let me do what Elijah did. He held the jacket. Why party jacket? Just tonight. I know maybe you don't fellowship here. Let's not do church church things. But let's first go tonight. Just for tonight. Forget that you are a visitor here. Just for tonight. Forget about people. Because you are dying. Because things are not alright. People are talking about you. Tonight, we've got to hold the jacket. He held the jacket. He held the jacket. He held the jacket. And he said, What? Hey. Wow! 
Jesus. Where, where is the Lord? Oh, potato. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. You are crying every day. My question is, where? Where? People are laughing at you. My question is, where? Where? God, you sinned. You will not leave us. Where are you? Where are you? I don't have a child. Where are you? Elisha said, Where is the Lord? The God of Elijah. Where is the Lord? Every day, you are reading the Bible. And the Bible is saying, The saying, he is Jehovah Jireh. Oh, Jesus. Where yeah, is the Lord? Oh, God oh, of Elijah. Oh, God of Elisha. Oh, yeah, I refuse to continue suffering like this. I refuse. I'm drawing a line. I'm drawing a line. Hold the hand of your neighbor. Hold the hand of your neighbor. And say, neighbor, enough is enough. Where is the Lord? The God Elijah. Where is he? The Bible says, he opens blind eyes. Where is he? The Bible says he raises the poor. Where is the Lord? The God of Elijah. I'm praying tonight. I'm praying tonight. To the God of Elijah. Jordan. You are opening. Jordan. Jordan. Some people have begun to push. Don't look at anyone. Don't look at anyone. Some are pushing already. Some are pushing already. Devil, I want my money. And I want it now. Devil, I want my church. And I want it now. Devil, I want my marriage. I want it now. Push. 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 Echo back. Push. Push. Forget about people. Forget about people. Old man. Push. Push. That one is push. Jehovah, you are the most high Jehovah.